2012 GMC terrain with a 2.4 we're going to be replacing the spark plugs and the ignition coils we're going to begin by loosening up this 8 millimeter clamp on the air filter we're also going to be loosening up this 8 millimeter on the throttle body assembly next we're going to remove the crank case breather hose here pull up on the throttle body here so we can unloosen it and also on this plastic fittings on the top remove the hose for the air assembly and now you can remove it and put it out the way the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take pressurized air and I'm gonna clean this area here so I won't run the risk of getting any dirt inside the spark plug hole go ahead and remove the connector you're gonna push up on the locking tab so you're able to access the push area that you need to push to remove the connector go ahead and remove the connector carefully Next, you're gonna take a 10 millimeter with a small extension and remove the 10 millimeter bolts that hold down the ignition coils. Make sure you put these bolts in a safe place because you may have to reuse them if the new coils do not come with a bolt already. Pull up on the ignition coil and it should come out. Make sure you put the coil in a safe location if you're going to reuse it again after replacing the spark plugs. In our case, we're gonna replace it, so just make sure you carefully remove them. You're going to take a 5 8 socket attached to an extension like I have here and you're going to insert it into the spark plug tube and you're going to need to loosen it up by hand with a ratchet before you attempt to use an electric ratchet so make sure you loosen it by hand. And you can see the plugs have not been replaced in quite a while. I'm going to be putting the gap specification in the end of the video as well as the torque specifications. So now we're going to use anti-seize and wrap it around the thread of these spark plugs to prevent the seizing of these plugs due to heat and corrosion. Now that I have anti-seize on the plugs, I'm going to go ahead and install them. You must install them by hand before you attempt to use an electric ratchet until eventually torquing them down. So make sure you tighten them all by hand. These coils happen to come with dielectric grease already within them. If yours don't, make sure you put some on the sides and the walls of the coil. You want pure isolation of the electronic components. So make sure you install it in the same way that you took it out. Tighten that 10 millimeter bolt. In every ignition coil, make sure it sits flush within the valve cover. Connect each of the connectors to their designated coil. After you do that, make sure you push down on the locking tab to lock the connectors in place. Once you've installed the air assembly, make sure to tighten both 8mm clamps that we removed earlier. Don't forget to connect the crankcase breather hose back into its position. And yeah, that's basically it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and also leave any comments in the comment section for future videos.